Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you the all new X Funk V7. So, this is a winter version. We used to see this vehicle in 2020 here in Chinese market because this is their first electric sedan under the X Funk lineup. So, let me show you the new vehicle. Got three different versions. The one I'm showing you is the max version. Got 86 kilowatt battery packs, and your CLT's range will be 702 kilometer. So, let me show you this vehicle from the rear. Here we got a new LED tail light. This is a new design. Also, we got the x punk badge over here, 360-degree camera, and so many parking sensors. Let me open the cargo. This is also the hydraulic one. So we'll get 440 liter storage capacity at the back, which is good enough as a sedan. And there are some lights, so if you open the cargo in a dark place, no problem at all. We got some space for the tools. So let me close it. As I mentioned it, this is the hydraulic one. So just press here, it will be closed. So height of the vehicle 1.45 meter, length is 4.88 meter, and the wheelbase is 2.99 meter. From a distance 1.89 meter, and the rear wheel distance also 1.89 meter. We check out the ground clearance to be around. So around 15 centimeter it doesn't have the air suspension here we'll get the michelin tire with 19 inch wheels and your tire size will be 245 by 45 on 19. see the wheels up before they were using the berimbo brake now they're using the x punk brake but you can also choose the berimbo one here you see a charging port there are two charging ports one in the left one in the right so if you use the slow one it will take around uh, 8 to 10 hours, but if you use the fast one, then it will take 20 to 25 minutes. These are all the pop out door handles. So let me walk around and share all the information. So mention it, this is the window version, so you can press here. So, oh, okay. So this is not the electric one. The door is the electric and the window version, but see this one you have to open it like this way it's not uh, uh, like the new but the rear door are not the electric come to the front so look at the front it looks amazing i love this front design but i prefer the basic version rather than the wing door one because that one is more cheaper than the wing door version. Let me show you at the front here, we got a full LED Jetimronic light. This will be visible in day and night. And before, you know, they use some functions, we can play some music uh, and do some music show uh, through this light. And here they are using the LED headlight, LED Jetimronic light, LED high beam and low beam. There is a functional grill over here. Also, we got a splitter, 360 degree camera, and there are so many parking sensors. So it looks pretty similar like the previous one. Let me open the front. And so here is a hook. Let's open it. This is also the hydraulic one here. We don't have any space at the front, but we'll get 440 liters to its capacity at the back. Let me mention the power output. So the one I am showing you is the max version. The power output will be 276 horsepower along with 440 Newton meter of torque. And zero to 100, it will take 6.4 seconds. Top speed, 200 km per hour. So let's close it. Come to this side. So it looks looks good, but they have reduced the price right now here in Chinese market is only you now 250k Chinese yuan. So all seats are electric. You can activate your seating seat muscles. Let me show you. This also can be moved and adjust. So mention it, this is the winter version. Let's trace this one. It will be close. But it seems to be a little bit hassle, you know. So I prefer, I prefer the you know basic door rather than the wing door version. 
so here look at this interior the interior is amazing just price twice oh it should be close uh, we see this concept in Jigger 001 especially the upgraded version so here they are using the Alcantara materials and the Napa leather all over in the interior so the price really matters when they are using the Alcantara and Napa leather we got PB's leather in the dashboard auto hood uh, if you choose the high-end performance one and there is a small screen at this part so you can see the speed and the CLT rings through the screen but the one I'm showing you it doesn't have the auto hold and here we got a screen so it's the same as the previous version <clears throat> so you can choose different colors to make your interior more colorful but the screen doesn't seem to be very you know uh, it's not that friendly at all and here you can choose different version see even you can choose the sound so it's not that uh, easy to use so this is the same uh in a concept we used to see the previous model they ha they have just upgraded a little bit here they're using the 5.1 xos system right now and also we can see all the functions here 360 degree camera play the music receive the phone call and here all the apps look if you want to hit your seat you have to do it like like this way that's why i say that it's not that friendly now the screen is a little bit difficult to use but here we are uh, familiar with the air system of this vehicle which is Xiaopi. Xiaopi. So Xiaofi is the AI system of this vehicle, it can help you to assist many ways. And here we got the compartment box at this part. Previous ladder in the dashboard, there are so many crowns. And come to this side, look at the string wheels. It's a leather after string wheels, which is power adjustable. So here is a hook so you can adjust your string wheels like this way. You can make it up and down and there are some switches so if you press here you can talk with the shell also you can receive your phone call increase and decrease the volume and here is the x-bank bags uh, batch with the airbag come to this part so we get well a charger two cup holders and there is a box with the armrest now let's see at the top here at the top we get the hazard button what is it oh, it's hidden and there are alcantara materials all over at this part we get a big panoramic sunroof and if you see here where we got a mirror with the lights so now let's go and check out the second row as I mentioned this is the you know the window version so also the electric door the front one okay now we can go to the second row so here in the second row this is the pop out door handles not the electric one you have to open it like this way so mention it also the frameless door and they have used some plastic that's why the price has been reduced right now no because of the VOID all of the vehicles has to reduce the price so here in the second row we got two cup holders can be hidden like this way and we got soft napa leather all over in the interior so you can activate your seating seat masses let me sit inside i'll get enough leg space enough head space no problem at all this is not the electric door so at the middle we got two ac pants two usb port and look at the interior the interior looks great and here the sunroof it has been divided into three different parts it's a new design compared with the previous one and we can choose different colors to make our interior more colorful so that's pretty well the vehicle also has got the you know uh, automatic driving system automatic parking assist it's a full electric version and this is their first 
Galactic City under the X Punk lineup. So I really like the X Punk P7, especially the old model, not the you know uh, window version. You know that there are a lot of competition here in the Chinese market, especially because of the BYD. So that's why they need to reduce the price. Uh, they are not giving the bearing break or a lot of things has been changed. The price is before it was 20 290k Chinese yuan, but now it's just 250k Chinese yuan. And the price will be 35,000 US dollar if you choose the max version. 700 kilometer range so the top speed it will be 200 it will be 200 kilometer per hour 0 to 100 3 point, uh, 6.4 seconds and they're using the 16.6 k hw uh charging system over here 